Hey, Andre. I got a question for you, bud. What's up? What do you got to say about the haters? Forget about them. I made a video about the new Guggen rods. And one of the biggest things that people were like barking on was that I made a review video on a fishing rod, but I've never fished with it. My explanation was, well, I never fished with it because as you guys can tell, it's like an Arctic tundra here in Ohio. But you know what? People, I gotta give people what they want. So today we're gonna go ice fishing with one of the new Guggen rods because I gotta fish with it before I can make a review on it, right? So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna go ice fishing with one of the new Guggen rods. We're out here on one of my favorite places to fish in the summertime. I've never ice fished here before and we finally have enough ice to do it. You name it, it's in here. There's panfish, largemouth bass, hybrid striped bass, walleye, perch, catfish. There are so many different species in this right here. I'm gonna call it a farm pond that today's video could be insane. We're just gonna try and catch some fish for you guys today. So with that being said, we gotta get some holes drilled and switch over to the GoPro. Perfect. What's up, bro? This is this is the cat that's always here every time we come fishing. This is Franco. He's the coolest outdoor cat ever. Look at you, buddy. You're looking thick. You got your winter coat on, huh? You wanna come ice fishing with us? Huh? The goal is always to get on some bass. I'm kind of craving trying to get on them largemouth bite because you know spring's right around the corner and I have all these new rods that I want to fish with, but I can't use them yet. So I'm going to go out here. We are going to fish with the Guggen rod today. You know, yeah, it's kind of like a joke, but low key, like people, you got to give people what they want, you know? Okay. All right, tip up is set. This thing's going to go off like every five seconds, just like it did last time, watch. You know, buddy, I'm trying, I, I'd love to give you some love out here on the pond, buddy, but I got some fish I got to catch, you know? Franco. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's so many. If I don't get bit, I'll be mind blown. Unless this thing is just tripping. I'm getting bit. Oh, yep. Oh, come on, eat it. I know there's fish down there. Oh, I just got bit real good. He took my minnow. All right, folks, we found him. Trying to switch to the Guggen rod. I said I was going to do it. I'm going to ice fish with the Guggen rod. I just had to locate the fish first. So I've got a little jig on here. We're going to go to the nine foot of water. I never, never used a bait cast or ice fishing. There we go. Not the most ideal way to do something. Look at that slab, dude. Holy cow, I guess I gotta drill a hole next to you because that's where they're biting, huh? This technically counts as me fishing with it, right? Hey, fishy, fishy. <laughs> Dre's slabbed up right now. Dre, I might as well give you the GoPro. Oh, I just lost one. Got him. Here we go. Look at that. Little gill, little blue gill. No slab for me, but I'll take it. Thanks, buddy. There you folks have it. Everybody who watched my Guggen Squad review, I fished with the new Guggen Squad rod. <laughs> I'm gonna catch one more, and then I'm going back to the ice fishing rod because this, I, I'll be honest with you, uh, fishing with a real size rod, I mean, this is why you don't do it. It's like the most inconvenient thing ever. It doesn't really make much sense. I'm getting bit. Oh, I, it's like drop shotting with a bait caster. It's kind of crazy. This, this is different. Got him. Oh, dude, those things fight hard, man. No kidding, they're slabs. <laughs> All right, folks, last fish on the Guggen rod. We're going back to the normal ice fishing rod. It's all fun and games. Sometimes I just like to mess around, you know. I really am not offended at all about that video. Honestly, I didn't expect that video to do as well as it did, 
but it was just funny. A lot of people got a little triggered about me not fishing with the rods, but truthfully, this is the reason. I mean, it's like an Arctic tundra where I live. Not really. I know a lot, a lot of places up. Oh, 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 okay. A lot of places up north are way more frozen and snowed over, but this is pretty much what I'm stuck doing. So as much as I'd love to get out there and put these rods to use, I'm confident. I've literally switched the majority of my arsenal over. And uh, yeah, these rods are sick. Again, if you guys want to pick one up, they're in the link in the description below. But it was just kind of a joke. I thought I'd come out here. I finally caught a fish on it. Didn't catch a bass. Caught some panfish. But now we really are going to focus on targeting some bigger fish. I'm going to drop the tip up off in a different location. And uh, I think we're going to throw on like a, a lure on one of these ice fishing rods rather than, you know, the typical just jig with the worm. Because I know I'm going to catch panfish all day, but I think I can make my odds a little bit better by, you know, upsizing things a little bit or upscaling things a little bit throwing on a bigger minnow but i think the tip up with a big piece of bait on it should do pretty well as well so let's get back to real ice fishing and uh thank you to everybody for the support on that one video dry you you we gonna catch a giant or what you like this thing you like using the flasher he likes it Dre's like i'm all about this you're, you look like you're getting bit right now Oh, there's a bite. Come on, eat it. They just nibbling at it, or what are they doing? <laughs> you think they're all just a bunch of little guys? Man of the hour over here. You want a picture? Oh, look at you. I just want to send it to the fam. This ain't no <laughs> Just, dude, all day, bro. Yep. Cheese. They didn't, they didn't seem to be too fired up today, but I think we're gonna come here one morning later this week and try and get on. I mean, I'm telling you guys, there's five and six pound bass in here. There's. Alrighty folks, it's getting dark, it's getting cold. You know, it's kind of been a tough day. This has been one of the more tough, well, this is only the second time we really went ice fishing this year, but we caught a couple bluegill, but it's been slow, like really slow. Andre, you probably caught about five. I caught, what, two? I, don't, I haven't even caught a, a fish on a real ice fishing rod, actually. I only caught one on the Guggen rod. I've drilled probably six or seven holes at this point. We got a couple in spots that I really thought would have produced fish. But we came out here just to have fun and do things, so I think this is where we're kind of at. I'm leaving this tip up right here for a little bit. We're going to start cleaning up. I'm not a huge fan of being out on the ice when it's dark outside. Yes, we have a safe amount of ice, but given the fact that you know we were to fall through or anything, the last place I want to be is on a lake at night. So, Andre, I don't know about you, but I'm freezing my butt off. We gotta get a shanty. It's just hard to make in investments on things that you're never really gonna use. Like, I didn't even ice fish in Ohio last year. This year, it's been cold enough, but I give it another week before spring starts setting in and we're back to like, you know, the ice mountain and not safe ice and things like that. So, we're gonna keep you guys updated. We're gonna try and catch a couple more things, but we may see you guys back at the house, depending how the rest of the fishing goes so we'll see i don't know if you like it's common to catch striped bass in ice fishing or if anybody does that but there's like 10 11 pound hybrid striped bass in here which is pretty crazy so i'm gonna leave this tip up out while we clean up but yeah, yeah, yeah i'm freezing my butt off what's going on guys I'm back here, we're kind of in the editing studio as I'm editing this video right now. I never made an outro. Honestly, I was freezing my butt off out on the ice and me and Andre kind of just packed things up and got on out of there. Nothing crazy happened. We caught a couple of bluegill and that was about it. Never got really touched on the tip up, didn't catch really any other species or get too many more bites after that. So. Today was kind of a joke. I went out there, just kind of, you know, played on the whole negative comment thing about the Googling Rod video. It was just, I thought it was funny. It was just something I could get out and go do. So, you know, again, guys, that stuff really doesn't bother me. I'm always going to make videos. I'm going to make exactly what I want. Let haters be haters. It is what it is. So uh, that was just kind of what it was. But I am going to get out here and try and do some ice fishing. We have a lot of cold weather coming through. So hopefully we can get on some cool ice fishing videos. But the next video I'm going to be putting out is going to be an in-depth video on spring fishing. I think a lot of you bass fishermen are really going to enjoy that one. I'm going to try and go back and forth between like, you know, ice fishing videos right now with the weather being how it is and tutorial videos for bass fishing as we move on into springtime. I have a lot of good tips that are going to help you guys out 
as the ice starts to melt. So if you guys are here, do me a favor, smash that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching this video if you watched it all the way to this point. And uh, hey, I'll see you next time.